Alright, welcome to SoFlow TV again everybody, it's your host with the most. So, I don't know if you saw recently, you should have, the video that I did about the doctor in Portland that was uh, found, discovered in his house. And a whole bunch of things. Go and look at that video whenever you get a chance. Now, here's another story of a similar vein which is really starting to weird me out. But not just me, I have a bunch of comments from people that I'm gonna read to you, but first I'm gonna read the story to you. So, there I was sitting around and I saw an article, news article flash up that says, um, body of a female unknown found in a pond at the University of the West Indies. And I thought, oh wow, sounds suicidal, sounds, I don't know, some kind of foul play. Uh, accidental, maybe even anything, something. Alright, before I could even say, hey, have you seen this article? This is what it said. A body of female found, I literally, within an hour or two, another news update came that said, foul play is not suspected in the death of the doctor whose body was found at University of the West Indies. And then they said, okay, identified. The person was identified as Dr. Judith Rose Spencer, and this was on Monday. Here we are, today is Tuesday, or today is Wednesday. You know, you know I'm off with my days, because one runs into the other, but that's not the point. The body found in the pond at the University of the West Indies Mona campus has been identified as 69-year-old Judith Rose Spencer. The medical practitioner, let me stop and say that I smell foul play. I'm sorry, I smell foul play. And I smell foul play because of the location where the body was found. Now we're going to insert a picture of that area and we're going to talk about that a little bit. So pay attention to the picture. Alright, so here's a picture of the pond at the University of the West Indies at the Mono Campus where this female doctor or medical practitioners, they put it in the paper, was found. I want you to look around this. You see there's a clear-cut built-in sidewalk, then there's grass, and then there's earth material before you even get to the water. So even the notion of her stumbling and falling in by accident would seem somewhat suspicious, don't you think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. The medical practitioner, this is not somebody that, you know some people have an honorary doctor degree, and they have nothing to do with the medical field, but doctor is attached to their name, right? No, this person was actually a medical doctor. So this is a second medical doctor in short time. This is a medical practitioner. Was at the Great House with her address is from the Great House Boulevard address in Mona, St. Andrew. Spencer's body was found at 7.45 a.m. on Monday. In a news release on Monday afternoon, the university stated that Spencer, listen, she was found in the morning, 7.45. By afternoon came, University of the West Indies was quick to release a statement by afternoon stating that she was neither a student nor she was a staff member of the institution. The university also was quick to state to the media that based on preliminary investigations by the police, no foul play was suspected in her death. Isn't that kind of weird? Based on preliminary investigation by the police, no foul play was suspected. So they cleared it up right away. She was not a teacher here. She was not a student, not a member of staff, didn't work for us, not studying nothing here. And according to preliminary investigations by the police, no foul play. So were they alluding that she just came up to the campus and uh, dive into the pond, took her shoes off, uh, walked through the water and sank, I don't know. What? Further, an assessment by campus security has indicated that there is no threat to any member of the university. I did not know that campus security was so highly trained 
to have came back so quickly with that assessment that there was no threat to any member of the university community added the institution this is the report that the campus heads mona um university of the west indies at mona um campus led up to the public notwithstanding the security on campus has still been increased so they're letting everybody that have their money invested there know your children are good here, you're fine here, students don't worry about anything, this has nothing to do with us, just some medical practitioner, doctor, found floating in our pond, and we don't know how she got here or what caused her to be here, she's dead, but we don't think it's foul play, X us out of it, it has nothing to do with us, let's move on with business, and we're going to beef up security while we're at it. To protect ourselves just in case but remember no one's at um risk here no one's in danger doesn't that sound weird to you the university also said that it regrets the unfortunate incident and it expressed condolences to the family of the deceased and while they did that here's a picture i must add a disheveled picture of her this picture more would look like an elderly person with some Alzheimer dementia issues or but I don't think that Dr. Spencer was of any of that and she was certainly in the age group where she would still be functional in her profession right now skipping from loop which I got this bit of information from I went over to the gleaner and they had this printout said the body found in the pond at the University of the West Indies, Mona, this morning has been identified as a 60-year-old medical doctor, medical doctor Judith Rose Spencer. Rose Spencer lives at the same, the same great house boulevard in Mona address. Her body was submerged in the pond, located in the vicinity of the University of the West Indies Chapel at 7.45 a.m. All right, I'm going to take what they said here, but I'm going to go into some of these comments, and I want you to listen to these comments. Dandy Ayandanda Ayandan said, Sometimes I dream of a group of Jamaicans forming this secret crime unit with private investigators and crime squad. And quietly taking out all the criminals with no cops involved. Take out the wicked cops too. Yeah, like some superhero private citizens. Sh and people inform anonymously to help them out. When these criminals notice that they're dying off, they'll think twice about killing each other or other people. Or maybe kidnap them. Chop off a hand, then let them go. Yeah, I know it's far-fetched, but I did say it was a dream. Hmm. DMDC96 says, I cannot understand my country anymore at all. Tim Star, Star Tim says, What the hell is going on with these high-profile killings? Two doctors and a lawyer in short order. Natasha Terrell says, there is this, where's this link to this story? Because the Gleena keep on telling us about press the link to see more and we never see nothing more. So I'm just giving the Gleena a heads up from one of your readers. Because I've tried it and we never see nothing more either. Moving right along. Michelle Colors says, the country short of medical doctors and the idiot them are killed them off. Hmm, I have a theory. Could it be that there's a competition thing going on? Competition for political position because the doctor that was taken out from Portland was also a politician. And of course, now that he's out the way, his seat is up for grabs, right? Hmm. Could it be... This doctor was infringing on, like, if I take this doctor out, 
then I will have more patients coming to me for treatment kind of thing? Could it be something even deeper than that? I smell foul play. I may not know how to put the scenarios, but I smell foul play. Dumpling 19 says Jamaica is a war zone. Done. Dumpling 19, I want you to stay tuned for when I go live. I will go live tomorrow and I will I just got back from Jamaica so I will go live and I went to quite a few places in Jamaica and I will let you know what I experienced there what I saw there and what I think can move us forward as a people all right so Cypress vibe Cypress vibe says people just love jump to conclusion nowhere in the story did it mention that the woman was murdered shaking my head well People are not jumping to conclusion. People are speculating. And when you are given limited information, especially shady information, under circumstances like these, and given the play of events that have happened recently in comparison to this, then people are allowed to speculate. See, some people want to lock off your freedom of speech and say, Oh, it happened, make the people them rest in peace. I guarantee you the people that are resting, if they're resting, they would like for us to talk about it. I would hate to see me just come and disappear like that. Oh, so Flo was found floating uh, face down in the pond at so and so. And people are like, well, I guess him just go up there and just drop off in there and... No, I, I, I want it to be questioned. I want people to look at his videos and say, you know what? He used to unveil some things. That might have gotten somebody angry. More people to leave no stones unturned. And then if you come up with nothing, then you come up with nothing. But the truth always reveals itself. You know what I'm saying? What's done in the dark will always come to light. Whether now or years later. That is very, very true. Another person says, You can't bend the tree when it's already grown. You have to get rid of them. Low life there when I stop kill off the innocent people them. Well, this is someone that is assuming that that doctor was killed. And I must tell you that there are a lot of people that are assuming the same thing that I am speculating. Even while police and the university have already concluded that according to their preliminary investigation, there is no foul play whatsoever. I don't know if they're going to come back because the autopsy has not come back yet. So it'll be funny to see the autopsy come back and it says she died from drowning. Well, how did she drown? Was she under medication and she staggered, bumped her foot upon a rock and staggered five, six feet over it and finally fell over face down and was unable to turn herself over? How deep is this thing? All kind of something that is there to be um, uncovered. You understand? Meltech 22 says, people asking what's going on, CMB, and you all see the drugs, the guns, the corruptions, that's what's going on. Them same people who ask what's going on is the same people who helping the gunman them. Shaking my head. Well, this is not a gun crime. Well, we don't know yet. We will see when the results of the autopsy come back. Prima Donna Loyal says, if security cameras was all over the place, maybe this wouldn't have happened. From they stole that baby at KPH, this even opened the criminal's eyes more that no one is watching so they can get away with anything. And it's sad. So, if you've been following SoFlo TV for a while, especially throughout 2018, leading into 2019, one of the things that we talked about a lot was putting Jamaica in a fishbowl. What that means is security cameras everywhere, CCTVs everywhere. We went as far as to say CCTVs needed to be put out by the government, but then have a central monitoring point. But nothing has come of that. I heard of the Jamaica Eye project where they're supposed to put CCTVs in a lot of places and then 
but majority of that came down to encouraging or asking citizens to put up their own cameras, which I thought was putting the citizens at risk because if gunmen or criminals are operating in a certain area, you who live in that area might know the runnings of what's going on, but you know we have this culture in Jamaica where see I'm blind, hear and deaf, walk and live, talk and back that, dead, that. So we're not going to put up no camera for them money or come tell us, say, yo, dog, take down a camera there. See if you have on camera, brother. Slap out your head back, you know. Them kind of something there. Film me, film me, video, yeah, video me if you go get police. And then, so you're, you're putting yourself at risk just putting the camera up there. You understand what I'm saying? That is why it was important for the cameras to be placed by government entities and monitored from a central monitoring point. And yes, it can be done. And yes, Jamaica does have the resources to do it. But, and you would think that a prestigious place like the University of the West Indies at Mona Campus would have cameras all over the place and they would be able to pull some footage up by now and says, well, here we can see you, Dr. Spencer walking. I don't know, um, okay, she came through the gate and she walked here. And then look, she's stumbling in the video. She looks inebriated. She looks like she's under the influence of something. Oh, she fell in. Okay, this is what it is. Easily solvable if there are cameras around. All right. One more and then I'm out. 4Q says death of three professionals. Note, the MP case seems to derive from the fisheries department. But it's a life taken nonetheless. Doctor, lawyer, politician, you are in the scope now. Where the hell are you going to do? Those are the comments. And there are many, many, many more comments found on the Gleaner online. All right? It's SoFlo TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. What do you think happened to Dr. Judith Rose Spencer? Did she see something that she wasn't supposed to see? Was she involved in some type of a research project where they feared that she would have leaked information that is detrimental to some kind of an agenda? And she decides, said, yeah, I'm sounding like a conspiracy theorist, but like I said, I'm leaving no stones unturned. And they decide that after using her for her knowledge, her expertise, it's better to get rid of her than to have this whole cover blown. Or do you think that she is was suicidal and she decided this was the way to go? Or do you think that she accidentally tripped and stumbled four, five, six feet all the way over to that thing and then fell in and was unable to get herself out? What are your thoughts? Leave your comment in the comment section below. Let's talk about this one. I really seem fishy. It's so flow TV, man. I'm out. Peace.